Good morning, lovely people. So I thought I'd get up early. It's about seven o'clock. I'm trying to be quiet. Um, and show you guys the hotel because it is stunning. Um, Alex is still in bed. Um, and so are a lot of people. So I thought this would be the great opportunity for me to show you guys the hotel. It is stunning. And it's very quiet in the morning, which is really, really nice. The sun is like shining and it's very bright. <laughs> I don't think I can take my sunglasses off. But let me show you the hotel. We're staying at Casa Cook in Rhodes and it is absolutely gorgeous. Can you see like the mountains behind us? Stunning. And I'm just going to whip around and show you guys kind of the hotel while no one's here. Um, let's have a look. So I'm going to film because no one is out. If I see anyone out, I will not be filming it, don't worry. Um, but these are the pools. This pool's getting cleaned. It's like a swim up pool. And basically you have these beds and then you have the room and you like can swim up to it and then you share it with like five people. Same here. And then also same at the end here. There's like two more. There's like one there and one there. Um yeah, basically different rooms go to like different areas. There's more at the back as well, which I'll show you. But let's just look at the view because it's incredible. It's a stunning mountain, mountain, hill. I don't know, it's a big rock behind us. Can you see that there? Absolutely gorgeous. And then if you come up this way, you hear me, but um, yeah, so the, the check-in and everything is there. There's a toilet there. The restaurant is here with the main pools, um, with the bar as well. And then the gym is literally just behind those trees. Um, yeah, this is the main bar over here. They're cleaning at the moment, so I'm not gonna go over. I'll try and film around lunchtime. But yeah, that's the main bar. And this is where you come into the hotel. So when you come in, you see like all of this. It is absolutely stunning. I thought I'd go for a walk to the other side of the hotel that we haven't been to yet. Um, and just have a little, little look-see. Um, it's massive. So there are rooms all here as well. And I've already walked far. This is a gym. And I've really walked far. Um, and there are rooms everywhere. So here at the moment, You're on the main road. Oh look, there's some cats. Oh, they're having a fight. Are they fighting? Oh. I think it actually might be like mating season for these cats. <laughs> I think they're in heat, so. Yep. <laughs> so like, look at that back drop. Absolutely insane. So these next to us here, these are all the suites here. So these are the more expensive <sighs> suites, yeah. So they have like two floors instead of being like one apartment, they have two floors. And I think they all have a private pool instead of a shared pool. They are quite a little bit more expensive. Try and think of how much we paid. Because we paid as a package with Thomas Cook. So we paid as flights and hotel. And it was, I want to say just over 16,000. 16,000, 16,000, 1,600. And I think these for the week. I think we're over 2,000. So for us, we kind of didn't think it was really worth it. But here they are. Very private. All of the rooms are very private, apart from the pool situation in the shared ones. These ones are more private because you literally have the pool all to yourself and um, you don't have to share it with anyone. You don't have to worry about anyone like overlooking your pool because it's private, which is nice. Ah, okay, let me show you guys this. So, when we got here, 
we got, I should have filmed it really, but I didn't. We got taken around on the little buggies. I'll kind of show you one later if we're around and I can film one kind of going along. And they showed us like a new area, which is a, try to be quiet, uh, a new pool area. And I've been trying to find it. And I think I found it. So this is the new pool area. Here. With some beds going across here. I think there's gonna be something here. I'm not entirely sure. But it's very quiet. That bar isn't open yet. And um, the backdrop of this is just absolutely stunning. Isn't it? It, it, it really is gorgeous. <laughs> so nice. But yeah, it's not open yet, so that, I'm not going to go over because there's someone cleaning, um, but this, the restaurant there isn't open yet. But when it's open, I think it's going to be a bar and then a restaurant. But the beds are available should you want to come here. We might come here today because it's actually a lot quieter than the other pool, the one that's like way over that way, because this one's just more out of the way and I actually like the view quite a lot more. That being said, I think I'm going to try and walk around the pool to get out that way so I don't have to walk past um, that side again I'm trying to avoid walking past and talking in the same area so we're going this way there's like a sprinkler on I'm gonna have to like time it right it's like one of those challenges I'm trying to like not get like they're both moving at the same time okay I think I'm going back this way the hotel itself is absolutely stunning, like this is the backdrop, this, it goes all the way across the entire backdrop of all the hotels and you can pretty much see it from every single room. Um, when I was on the website you could pay more I think to get a certain view room, so like mountain view room, garden view room, corner room, uh, middle room. Um, so if you want to specify your rooms, um, oh, this butterfly literally just flew straight across my face, I didn't know if you saw it, but um, you can specify your, your room, but we decided not to do that, because it's extra money, and we got a garden view room, which sort of faces just the other blocks like this, um, so it is quite nice and private. No one can walk where, well you can walk in front of it, people coming out of their apartments, but there's no reason to otherwise walk past. Um, but if you paid more, for example, you could have literally had just the view of the mountain and been right at the very front, but it is more expensive. So it just depends on whether you think it's a necessity to pay hundreds more to literally change room because from our place even though it's a garden view you literally just swim out and you see the mountain when you're swimming um, so for us that's like good enough <laughs> but if you want to be spending you can spend that extra money girlie you do you and if you want to spend that extra money and get an amazing view you can do that the hotel is actually so big look I've just walked around another corner and it's like another view and then these are the top of the, some of the suites here um, which also have like a pool just here so it's nice and private this one this one like no one can see into it and even then they can look at the mountain when they're swimming as well so it's a nice private little spot with the view as well so like as we come out of our apartment this is kind of the view we have here and then here it's quite nice actually to be in the shade when we come out of our apartment and um, and I love the architecture, the design is so nice. Stunning. Hello lovely people. So I'm finally going to do a hotel tour with you guys. We arrived yesterday, but um, to be honest with you, even though we arrived early in the day and my plan was to like vlog our arrival and stuff like that, we were just so tired from the journey. The flight was four hours. There was a bit of a delay on us taking off. And then um, Alex drove us here. He was tired. So we just thought we'd just jump in the pool and relax. So <laughs> let me show you the hotel room. It is a little bit of a state because it isn't like our first day here. So please do keep that in mind. 
So this is the door when you walk in, you put the card in for power and then there's little signs to say whether you want the um, cleaners or the housekeeping to come or if you don't want to be disturbed, which I really like. And the rest are like light switches for different rooms. This is the bathroom, it has like a little window. Hello. This is the sort of sink area. It's pretty standard, we've got spare towels, cloths. This is just all, all of our stuff. Um, I thought this was a nice addition for like a little um, soap holder. Um, yeah, we've been washing our hands a lot because of the sun cream situation. Um, they also have lots of, is it Caress? Is that the brand? I don't know how to pronounce it. Is that how you pronounce it? All of the products are from them. So they're actually really, really nice. Really rate those. Um, we also got the standard kind of shower cap situation, all of that jazz. And then a bit strange because the door, that's like the bathroom toilet. It's kind of just <laughs> glass. So if someone's in there, um, you can kind of see. And then if you close it, it does kind of start sliding open. Does that, can you see that? It just starts sliding open. So we, me and Alex have got an arrangement. We've got a bathroom arrangement. I'll say that. Anyway, this is the shower, really tall. I mean, I'm quite small. This is my eye level. <laughs> it's a really tall <laughs> shower up there. And then, yeah, we've just got our products in there. It's a little body shower, a little place to hang robes. And then again, it's a, like a, uh, what's it called? Like a glass shower if you are going <laughs> to be sharing with someone who's like not your partner or like friend or someone who doesn't you know you don't want to see them to see you naked it is a bit of a situation because you can see through it as you can see there so the glass situation um it's not my favorite but we're dealing with it the bed is also really nice it's actually two twin beds i'm assuming because you can book it as a twin room so it's two twin beds that are put together, made separately. They also had loads of stuff built up on the bed for display, which I didn't get a picture of, but it was like, there's lots of pillows and throws and stuff like that that were like on the bed. And then and there were these lights on the side of the bed that you can like angle. And then I really like this. Just like a lovely stone kind of backboard. The vibe is definitely very like Bali-esque wooden tables these were kind of more like out here when we arrived but we feel like there's there's a lot of furniture in this room so we kind of just pushed it all back as far as possible we have the desk situation really cute this is the bikini that i'm wearing today the outfit of the day the little cover-up is from Cupshi. the bikini is from kalani kinis i have the top in an extra large and the bottoms in a large and they're very, very cute. So this is sort of desk area. Yeah, it's very messy. Let's not talk about it. We just came in and just everything went everywhere. So yeah, that is what happens for me not blogging the first day. So let's ignore the mess. We also got given some Greek wine that we have yet to drink. Maybe we'll drink that tonight. And then a little mini fridge here. It is a little bit noisy, but not, not too bad not too bad and then we just have yeah just a little situation here where we just like throw on all of our stuff suitcases here and then just like clothes we have thrown in there again let's pretend like it's not that messy hangers drawers there's a safe um robes and stuff can go up here there's a lot of space there's also some spare duvets and stuff up there should you need them and then the air con here if you want it on. So yeah, that's the situation with the room. It's the standard room. I think all of the rooms that are just a room, not a suite, look similar to this one. It's not like the big room and it's not the suite. So yeah, it's enough for like two people. Like I said, the glass shower thing, mm, neither me or Alex are over the moon when we see that. It happens a lot of the time in Europe. There's always glass toilets and glass showers we were in amsterdam and there was literally a plane of glass between us and the toilet in the room and it was very weird um so we both ended up using the one in the foyer like just outside of our room because it was just a bit strange i don't know who designs it but i think it would have been better being something a bit more like this wall 
here there instead of being the frosted glass maybe it was just cheaper who knows but we're not the biggest fans but the terrace and the view makes up for it so let's go outside and have a look shall we it's the piece de resistance it really is while we're here So this is our outside pool area, we've got two lovely little chairs here which aren't, if they're not the most comfortable, they're not the least comfortable, you know. And then um, an ashtray for smokers, we don't smoke. And then I was, <laughs> this is a drying rack, but we were, um, I was trying to some, take some photos earlier um, on my own, so we kind of worked this situation out with my little, um, I think it's called a gorilla tripod, anyway, I couldn't bring the big one because it wouldn't fit, so I've got this little one. And then these are our own private some beds and then this is the ladder down to the pool which is here Let's see if I can show you the view like that's the mountain view there and then if you swim out you can see like the entire mountain range these ones there these apartments have the view of the entire thing but you have to pay extra and then we didn't <laughs> and we still have the view here which is really nice these are nice privacy screens as well so we have like some privacy and um, ours kind of juts out quite a lot into the water um, unlike the others so um, if that bothers you with the privacy thing um, it might be not be the best for you but we don't really care because <laughs> we're just like sunbathing in bikinis or like jumping in the pool so it's fine for us we love the view it's just stunning it really really is Hello lovely people, it is our second day in Rhodes and we are off to Seven Springs today. I am wearing a bikini top by the way, I know it looks like I'm not but yeah. Um, we are off to Seven Springs today which is like a waterfall and then like a natural kind of spring in Rhodes. It's very close to where we're staying. Sorry, the camera battery died. Alex hasn't driven in Europe. This is the first time we've been driving here. We have got an automatic, so it's slightly easier, but um, he's still a little bit nervous. Um, so I think it's only 10 minutes away, so it's a good little test for the beginning of the week just to see um, how he gets on. And then later on in the week, we'll be going to the two main towns of the island. So um, hopefully he'll feel a little bit more confident then. Not that he's not confident. I'm more worried about them him than he is. But yeah, hopefully it will go well. It looks like a really nice spot to eat. My focus, hope so. Um, it looks like a really nice spot to eat as well. So I think we're gonna get something to eat there. So yeah, come along with us. Excuse the state of the room. I thought I'd show you the fit anyway. So I've just got my bikini top on here underneath. Um, I've just put on a little bandeau crop top and then I've got my bikini bottoms like underneath as well But I've got these little shorts on I'll probably wear my Birkenstocks. I think Alex is gonna wear this shirt and Also, we've just had like an afternoon Fanta lemon which is has been like an essential um, During this trip. It has been so hot. I think today is the hottest day of the week. So it has been so hot we spent a lot of time in here in the aircon because it is so hot um in the beginning of the day outside the sun has kind of gone over now so we have like some nice evening shade if that makes sense so i might go out and read my book which is there i might go out and read my book um when we come back <laughs>
Hello everyone, so we have come out to a spot called Seven Springs in Rhodes and it is stunning. Camera battery is going to die, I was not prepared for this, but it's very hot. We had a lovely little lunch and now we're just going to go and see a waterfall. We just walked through a really dark tunnel for 180 metres I think it was, um, but it was worth it because now we're going to go see a waterfall and have a nice little walk I think because we had a lovely Greek salad for lunch, it's delish. And yeah, we're trying to get the most out of the shade because it is spicy hot. Hello lovely people. So we are back from the Seven Springs little adventure that we did. It was actually really nice. You can like wade through fresh water from the springs. Even part of it um, is so fresh that you can't actually wade through it because you can fill up your water bottles. Like if you brought a travel water bottle, you can fill it up because it's so fresh. We did opt also to walk through the tunnel which is 180 meters of like pitch black tunnel. Like if you are one like that, if you are one for like claustrophobia, you don't like being in enclosed spaces, you would not like it, would not recommend, but it was really, really fun. So it was a nice little adventure through the tunnel. So you can walk all the way through and then you come out to a lake and then you can walk a bit more and there's like a man-made waterfall that you can go and see. I didn't actually get any clips of the waterfall because there was a family there who were like taking quite a lot of photos. So we just kind of moved on. But yeah, the food there was so good, really well priced and the portions were huge. We couldn't finish the food. So I think it was like 24 euros for lunch, which is pretty okay considering we had drinks and then a side um, and two mains to share. So it was actually really good value. We are gonna head into, I can't remember the name of the area. I wanna say it's Columbia or Colum Columbia. Anyway, we're heading into that area probably gonna butcher that no matter how it is um, actually said. So we're heading into that area. There's like a beach that we're gonna check out and then we're gonna go for some dinner. I am dressed very casually today. I'll show you a proper outfit pic, um, like an outfit shot in the mirror. Um, I'm dressed very, very casually because yesterday I did dress up and whilst it was totally fine like dressing up, it was really, really windy. And I think it's because we're right near like this mountain and then near the sea as well. It was kind of like caught in like a wind tunnel. So it was very, very windy last night and I wore like a dress and a shirt. I was kind of blown about the place. So I've kind of gone from more like of a sportive, supportive, sporty top and then just some shorts. I'm gonna also put on my Birkenstocks. So it's gonna be a bit of a casual dinner, which is nice. I don't think we're planning on staying out late anyway because we have a little bit of an agenda on tomorrow. We are going into one of the main towns in Rhodes. So I think we're gonna have an early, early, relatively early night, but we've got a 20 minute walk down to the beach and then we'll have food there and then a 20 minute walk back. So um, I think we should get going. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, we're good to go. Hello everyone, good morning. Today we're off to Lindos, which is one of the main towns on the island. We are in our hire car. Um, we went with Rodo Rodos hires, Rodos cars. They're really good, so would recommend them. Pretty much everyone is using them at our hotel and there's like a representative, so would recommend. Um, the process has been very easy and it's been like reasonably priced as well. So yeah, we are off to go and explore. Apparently it's supposed to be a really nice old town. So can't wait to go and explore and take you guys with us. Also, stupidly, I forgot to bring my vlogging camera last night to go to the restaurant. Uh, we had an amazing meal, really nice traditional food. We had um, vine leaves, like rice wrapped in vine leaves. It was amazing, it was so good. Lots of other things that I had never heard of, Alex had heard of. It was really, really good. I actually, yeah, forgot the name of the restaurant as well. So I'll add some clips here and also the name of the restaurant just so you guys can um, check it out if you want to. I would very much recommend. There was actually a queue going out of the restaurant uh, because it was that good. So uh, yeah, we luckily got there and we got like a table that's available. If we had have come maybe 10 minutes after, there would have been no tables. So we got there about quarter to seven, which is quite early, but we got a table. So um, we were, yeah, really happy to go there. We might actually go there again because it was that good and it was quite affordable as well. We even got wine. Yeah, it was really nice. So I'll link them also down below, like the name of the restaurant as well, because it was amazing.
Hello lovely people, my hair has gone absolutely crazy today. It is so hot, it is so busy. You could probably hear children crying in the background. Yeah, it's like busier than we thought, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's busier. And the parking was a bit crazy. No, it was man. a bit crazy. So we had, we went to, we passed what, three park, car parks? And we ended up finding this little road that you can go down that people like who knew knew, and then we followed them and then we found the parking. We got here about 10 and it was rammed. And then since then, it's just kind of been getting busier and hotter and busier and hotter. We wanted to go up to the Acropolis, but um, it's hot. Midday sun. It's midday sun. But it's going to be 29 degrees for the rest of the entire day. So we're kind of debating when to go up. I think we're just putting it off at this point. But we had a lovely coffee. We had a traditional spinach pie. Spinach pie. Um, and now we're just kind of sitting in the shade. This stunning flower tree and putting off actually walking up how many steps is it oh i don't know quite a lot. a lot yeah at least 100 all in the sun all in the sun uphill wish us luck okay so we made it to the acropolis it's quite noisy i hope you guys can hear me but this is the view um it's pretty incredible uh we kind of we're like halfway up i think we've got a little bit more to go to we get to the top but we've also found a cat that I'm going to go and give a little stroke to. Um, but what a wonderful view. It was sort of worth the climb, but I almost passed out on the way up, so. Hello, guys. Okay, so today we are going to a completely different place. I should probably start this off by saying I ended up not vlogging the whole experience in Lindos because I actually had a bit of a funny turn in the heat. The heat just got to me so badly that um, we had to go home um, quite late on. We were there for quite a while. We climbed up to the Acropolis and it was just so hot that I just had a bit of a funny turn and we had to come home. And then we had a bit of like a siesta and then we went out again at night for dinner. And I've been really, really bad at filming the dinners that we've had, but I'll add some clips here. It was it was good. We had um, literally just a little like, mezzo starter and then we had a really nice dessert. It was like an orange, I think call it orange pie, but it's like a Greek orange dessert. And we had it with chocolate ice cream. It tasted like Terry's chocolate orange. It was amazing. Um, but we had it like on the rooftop. It was just, it was absolutely <laughs> stunning. Uh, part of me is a bit like, oh, I don't really want to bring my vlogging camera for dinners and stuff like that, just because it's like an intimate, um, dinner between me and Alex so I'll add some clips where possible but yeah it was amazing I would highly recommend Lindos it's actually so much better at night than it is in the day in the day it's extremely busy extremely hot um, at night it's 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 still hot but it's like doable and it is gorgeous it's stunning everything lights up it's so beautiful and the bars are fantastic Anyway, today we are going up somewhere a little bit different. We're going to um, Calithia Springs, I think that's how you say it. That's where we're going today. Um, it's about half an hour drive from here, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, but it's already like really hot. <laughs> it's already really hot. So definitely gonna have to put loads of sun cream on. It's like somewhere you can swim, um, lie on day beds, have an explore, like that sort of thing. So we're gonna go there for the morning, then probably do the same that we did yesterday, come back for the kind of midday sun and then go out in the evening. Not quite sure where we're gonna go yet. We might go to Rosetown. We'll see. But yeah, that is sort of what the plan is today. Sorry guys for not being the best at vlogging. It's just obviously if I'm not feeling 100% then my brain isn't there to actually keep recording and stuff like that. But don't worry, I'm trying to get as many like cute little clips as possible just to show you guys what we're getting up to and hopefully give you some inspiration if you're planning on coming at two roads. Before we go, I thought I'd take you guys with us to breakfast because the breakfast here is phenomenal. It is so good. Um, there are so many different little things you can get. My personal favourite is all the stuff you can put on top of yoghurt. So there's lots of like Greek yoghurt in the fridge and there's lots of little bowls full of like um, nuts and fruit and that sort of thing and seeds that you can put on your yoghurt. And then they have like a honey station where there's like four different types of honey that you can put on your yoghurt. I don't know, I love yoghurt for breakfast so for me it's like the best thing. They also have like hot fresh bread that you can have with like, olive oil and stuff. Really, really good. So yeah, I'll take you guys over for breakfast and then we're heading off to Calithia Springs.
so we are back from the springs. We had a really, really nice time. I hope I got enough shots for you guys to like show you what it was like. It was two euros to get in. And then once you're in, it's 20 euros for two people for the bed. So it's like 10 euro per bed. For each bed, you get one soft drink, one bottle of water. So for the 20 euros, we got one bottle of water each, which is quite a sizable bottle. It wasn't like a small bottle. I don't have one here to show you, but it was like quite sizable. It wasn't like a giant bottle though. It was like 1.5, okay, more like one liter maybe. Then I got like, I asked for a Fanta lemon and a Vap lemon came. I don't know what that is. And Alex got a Sprite. So um, I kind of think it was worthwhile. We had some lovely areas to swim in. Alex went snorkeling. Um, I'm not a big, big fan of like open water swimming. So I kind of just kind of stayed where it was shallow and had a little like swim around. And Alex went like far, like quite far. And he swam um, and did snorkeling there. I just stayed kind of by the little bit at the side that we were kind of stationed at. You'll see in the video anyway, kind of where we were. And it was really, really good. My camera keeps slipping because my tripod broke on this holiday. That's a whole different story, but I hope this is okay. I might be slightly on a wonk, like I might be slightly wonky. But yeah, we had a really, really good time. There's a little area inside that's like a beautiful, stunning building that you can actually hire for weddings. It was gorgeous. Um, so we just kind of hang around there. We had a little nap in the sun. We went swimming. We got some lunch. I actually got like a spaghetti, like a tomato spaghetti. And Alex got a sandwich. And then we decided about three o'clock to call it a day. So we were there from nine till three. Um, and it only cost you two euros to get in and then 10, pound, 10 euros each for the bed. So I kind of think that's worth it. Lunch was about 20 euros. Um, and that includes drinks. So I think it was a really well priced day out. We had a full day out. So we're kind of, because we've been back a little bit earlier, we went out to get snacks. So we wouldn't be going for dinner at like five o'clock because it's a little bit early, especially around here to get dinner that early. We only got dinner that early on our first day because we were so hungry from traveling the day that we traveled and arrived here. After that, we kind of were like, okay, we're going to go for like 8 p.m. dinner. So we stopped off to get some snacks, which I'm going to show you guys. We went to this place, Edam, Edam Market, and then we went to another more like off licensey place. Um, they had some really interesting sweets, crisps, um, pastries, biscuits, like all the all the different kind of European uh, foods that you you could possibly want. They had Pringles that were like really interesting flavor, like specific cheese flavors, and then. There was like pizza flavor, there was ketchup flavor. There were a lot of like strange flavors. I didn't end up going for any of the Pringles, but I got these pizza Cheetos. We've already kind of made a good dent in these. They're like onion rings, but they taste like pizza. Really, really good. Also picked up tzatziki flavor lace, which I'm gonna enjoy tomorrow because we are going to have another day out. We might go to the beach. I'm gonna bring these along. Yummy, can't wait to try them. I actually had the oregano lays the other day. It comes in like a green packet, which says oregano on the front. They were delicious as well. It li they literally tasted like pizza because the oregano, right, kind of tasted yummy. We finished those off very easily. Then I picked up, I wanted chocolate, but it is a little bit hot to have like a full big chocolate bar. So I picked up these. I have no idea what they are. They're called Hanuta Sticks by Ferrero. So the same brand that do Ferrero, Rochers and stuff like that. So we'll give these a go. Um, they feel weird. They do feel like logs, like the, the front, it kind of looks like a log. It does kind of feel like that. But it's got like hazelnuts on it. So we'll see if they're any good. I'm actually gonna put them in the fridge because it's, it's really hot. <laughs> Alex really wanted something with nuts and there are there are so many different things here with nuts. We originally were gonna get um, this other, like I think it's called halva with nuts and then Alex thought it might be too sweet. So we got this, which is peanuts and honey. Um, it looks really nice. I probably won't have any of this, but Alex bought it because he wanted nuts. And then we got baklava or baklava. Guess however you want to say it, right? This one was the pomegranate flavor. We actually only got two in here, so it's like one, two, but it was like two euros, so a euro per um, per item. Really, really good. I think we're gonna probably gonna go back and get some more. Um, the kind of sweetness from the pomegranate kind of makes, I guess, the sweetness and tartness 
Um, I could definitely eat maybe like five of these. So yeah, really good. And then we got Greek Delight. Uh, don't ask me how to pronounce this because I am not going to be able to. But we got some of this. It's really good. It is so powdery though. Like, but yeah, you get quite a lot in here and it is a very, very yummy. I think we might get some more of these as well, but maybe just a different flavor. So yeah, that is what we got in a snacks haul. So I think we're gonna go for, where's my phone? We don't have table reservations tonight. So I think we're gonna turn up at the restaurant slightly early and get drinks. And then by the time we order food, it will be like a more acceptable time to eat. So we might leave in maybe like half an hour and then get drinks and then just slowly maybe get some bread, some meze, and then slowly start ordering and then start eating. Um, we've found that that works the best for us here. So uh, um, you can get to a restaurant and just order one dish and that be your dish. But it's more the way that people eat here is definitely more sharing. It's more assumed that if you order multiple dishes that you will be sharing them and they were kind of just put in the middle of the table unless it's very specific that you have ordered one particular thing for yourself so we were we were in a restaurant and alex ordered this kind of this vegetable kebab thing and then i ordered a salad and they just kind of put it in front of you and give you sharing plates so me and Alex are totally fine with that. We like we like sharing food. We always share food at home. We often get like a few dishes and then like have a taste of all of them. So it doesn't bother us. We like meze. Um, we kind of like that sherry aspect of food, like sharing the experience. So it's totally fine. But if you're very much like, I like my food, I want my food as my only food and you're not into meze, you're not into tapas, you're not into sharing, um, just make it specific. Like I'm ordering this steak and then the other person, like, I'm ordering this chicken and they'll get the idea that it's just for you but um we just say oh we'll just just get bread we'll get some hummus we'll get some tzatziki we'll get this rice dish we'll get stuffed vine leaves and they'll be like cool and then they'll just bring it as it comes like as it's hot and you can just start eating and that's kind of how we've enjoyed eating you can also order less and order more so as you're eating if you're ordering small amounts you can decide if you're still hungry. It is a bit, at the first time we did it, we ordered way too much and we looked at it and we were like, wow, okay, like ice too big for our stomach kind of thing, you know? So we've learned from that. We kind of just start with like a small thing, maybe like a drink and a small meze, like some bread and some, some tzatziki or some garlic bread, garlic spread that they have here, delicious. And then if we're hungry after that, we'll be like, okay, we'll get some vine leaves, we'll get this, we'll get that. And then slowly like build it up to what we think is like an acceptable amount of food for us to actually eat and there be no waste, if that makes sense. That being said, I might go put some makeup on for dinner. I've got like a tiny amount of eyeliner on. Um, I had my brows and lashes done just before I left. So I've got min minimal makeup. I have had a bit of a breakout though with my acne. I think it's just being in a different country. It's been hot. This side of my face, totally fine. This side, acne central. I don't know what's happened. I sleep on this side as well. So initially we thought it's because I sleep on that side. And then we realized, no, I sleep like on this side. So I don't know what that is. So yeah, I think I might just put some minimal makeup on if I can be bothered, to be honest with you. This might be what we're working with today. Salty hair from the beach and just lashes and my brow lamination. Maybe some gloss if I'm lucky, if I can find it. Hello lovely people, how are we all doing? It has been a hot minute. You don't understand the journey that I've been on to finish this video. So this is actually two weeks after I got back from Rhodes, I am now filming the end of this video. Um, I, for I completely forgot to film like a little closing bit. I was planning on doing it on the balcony in our in our room and you know, we just got a bit like ahead of ourselves with like the final day. We're like, we want to make the most of it. Let's go out. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. I decided I wasn't going to vlog on the final day because I just wanted to relax and enjoy. So um, I didn't film it. And then I was going to film it as soon as I got back to the UK. But about three days after I got back, I got the dreaded C word. Um, and I have ha I've been like ill for about two, the full two weeks. And then we've had this heat wave in the UK, which is, if you don't know, it went up to like 39 degrees or something in um, in like where I live. Anyway, it went up to like, well, maybe like 37 in London. I think it went to like 39, 39, 40. Um, and it just, I can't film in those conditions. I mean, even today, like it's a struggle. Like I've been filming reels all morning and my forehead is like 
sweaty, I'm sticky, I had a shower this morning, I'm sticky, and my fan over there says it's 30 degrees. Um, so I'm trying that thing where, where you don't open the windows, um, and you just keep everything cool like, inside, but it's it's kind of not working, it's just too humid, it's just too sticky, um, it's just so hot. So, I'm so sorry that it's taken me, long-winded story, but so sorry that it's taken me this long to finally film the end of this video for you guys. But it does leave me with a little bit of opportunity to talk a little bit about the hotel and Rhodes itself, so let's have a little chat. Just gonna give you like a five minute, like 411 roundup because I feel like this video is already very long, but if you guys wanna know anything um, particular about my trip, you can always DM me on Instagram or pop a comment down below and I will get back to you. So yeah, we stayed at Casa Cook Roads, 100% would recommend. As soon as we got there, like I didn't tell Alex what hotel we had booked. I was like, I'm booking a hotel. He likes hotel surprises. So I did it for him in Bali. I booked a hotel and then just didn't tell him like this big resort thing. And then um, I did it in Rhodes and I was like, I'm just not gonna tell you what the hotel's like. And we got there and he was like, oh, this is amazing. And like the backdrop is this big mountain. I don't think it looks as good on camera because I have edited some of the footage. It doesn't look as good on camera as it does in real life. It looks really impressive. It's like so nice and big. But even though you're by this mountain, you're really close to the beach. So it does get a bit windy in the evenings, but it's not really that bad because you're so hot throughout the day. The coolness in the, in the evenings is really nice. So you get kind of the mountain coolness and then the breeze from the sea. It's like 20, 20 minutes from walk, maybe, maybe 30. But we had a car, we had a higher car. We went with Rodos cars. Would recommend them above all other cars in roads. Um, they were at our hotel with a rep, like everyone at our hotel was driving them. They were highly recommended by the locals. They are a locally owned car hire company, so they're not like those, you know, the big hire companies that are like chains that are in different countries. This is literally in Rhodes. Rodos Cars would recommend. They also include pretty much everything. We paid extra for just these little extra coverage bits just because it was our first time hiring a car in Europe. So we didn't want to have like something go wrong and us not be covered. So we paid for like extras, but um, a lot of it is included in terms of like your insurance in the price of the car hire. It was all very straightforward as well. And um, the people at the desk and stuff, they were just so nice, so would recommend. Rhodes itself is absolutely stunning. If you're gonna go anywhere in Rhodes, go to Calithia Springs. I don't know if I'm butchering that or pronouncing it correctly. Calithia Springs, it was amazing. We were gonna go two days. We were gonna go on our last day, but it is a more expensive day just because you're paying, I think it's four euros each now for entry. And then you have to pay 10 euros each for the sunbed or 15, I can't remember. And then um, obviously like food on top of that, the restaurant isn't the most affordable. It's like maybe 10 to 15 euros per dish. And then five euros if you want like a fancy coffee, maybe like a frappe and then drinks obviously more expensive than that. Um, so it is a bit more of an expensive day. And we did go there before and we kind of just got like, we got cocktails, we got like, we got like everything. So we decided on our final day to go to just like a public beach, like a sandy beach and just chill on the beach, which was actually so nice. We managed to get tan because there was enough of a breeze to lie in the sun. So all is well, but Calithia Springs, I would recommend if you want, it's a little bit more spenny than your usual beach, but I think it's hundred percent worth it. It was stunning. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed a little bit of travel content i'm actually going to spain in two weeks so i'll be doing another vlog for that trip as well i don't think i can get it again i don't think i can but um i should have this uh, the vlog up pretty much as soon as i get back from spain i am bringing my laptop so i will be editing when i am there so hopefully with this trip it was a little bit more of my own personal trip Spain it will be a bit more it's like a business trip it is a press trip so I will be working and editing whilst I'm away so that should be up pretty much ASAP and I should have content from Spain going live ASAP as soon as I get there I really hope you guys have enjoyed my roads content especially over on Instagram because I just feel I just had such a good time creating for you guys and also thank you for 80k on Instagram because I haven't said that yet so yeah I'm, I'm really enjoying just just being creative and just allowing myself to just be, if you know what I mean, just like be creative and and and, and just um, make content for you guys that I love. 
as well as I hope that you love, you know? So yeah, I just wanted to say a big thank you. As always, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content from me and I will see you lovely lot in the next one. Bye.